Hi grade 4s, um, I just thought I'd do one more video on time just to help us go from digital time onto analog time. So doing the conversion from digital time to analog time. Okay, so if you've got, imagine this is a blank clock now. There's no hour hands on this clock yet. And I've said to you in a test or in an activity, you need to take this time and draw the hands onto this analog clock to show me what time it is. Right. The first thing that I like to do is go to the hour. Remember the first two spaces here show us what hour it is. So at the moment, we are in the second hour. Okay, I'm going to put it on there, but it is going to move. Right. So there we go. Okay. So now this clock is showing us that it's 12, uh, 2 o'clock. Okay. This clock is showing us that it's 2 o'clock. And... This is the hour that I'm in. So now, remember that on this side of the colon is the minutes that have passed this hour here. So from 2 o'clock now, I will move my hour hand and go, it's 5 past, 10 past, whoopsie, quarter past, 20 past, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Okay, now... Because I can see that from this 11 to the 12 is a very, very, very short space in time. That's five minutes. I mean, it's now five to three o'clock. Because remember, we are still in the second hour. We have not gone into three o'clock yet. But because we are almost at three o'clock, as that minute hand passes through, slowly but surely the hour hand moves as well. And it's now pointing just, just before the three. Right. Because in five minutes time, as this minute hand moves and it goes. That's what happens. The hour hand moves on to the three. And as the minute hand hits the 12, we've got three o'clock. Because this time over here, it was five minutes. There were five minutes left to 60 minutes. And that means that it's five to three. So remember, this is all that we are calculating. If you ever get confused, there are 60 minutes in an hour and you should be able to calculate, okay, 60 minus 55 gives me five minutes. So that means that it's five minutes to the next hour. Same as this one. If it's 12.05, I can say 60 minus five means that there's 55 minutes to the next hour. Same with this one. 60 minus 25 means that there's 35 minutes to the next hour. Okay, so we carry on going like that. Now, the next one I'm going to show you again from 12.05. So when I read this out loud, it says 5 minutes past 12. Okay, so this is now 12 o'clock. And all that I need to do here is move my minute hand. This one's a nice and easy one. Move my minute hand to where it's going to show me that five minutes have passed. So remember, as I go, there's five. Okay, and that's five past twelve. The next one that I can go to now is, let's make it nine o'clock. So I'm moving on to this one over here. And I'm now showing that it's nine o'clock. But there are 25 minutes that have passed since nine o'clock. So there goes my minute hand. It's going to go five, ten. 15, 20, 25. And remember, as my minute hand has moved, so has my hour hand. Right, so 9.25 on your clock will be the minute hand on the 5, and the hour hand pretty much almost halfway between the 9 and the 10. Okay, the next one that I'm going for is 8.45. And I told you in a previous video, if I see a 45, I know that there's 15 minutes left to the next hour. And 15 minutes is also known as a quarter to or a quarter past if it's 15 minutes. Okay, so now I am, okay, I'm on 8 o'clock now. And I need to show that from 8 o'clock, 45 minutes have passed. So I go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 
So there's my minute hand. I'm now on 8.45. And now when I say 8.45 out loud, I still say it's quarter to 9. I don't say 8.45. I know that 60 minus 45 gives me 15. So there are 15 minutes left before I get to the next hour, which is 9 o'clock. But... I haven't reached 9 o'clock yet. I'm almost there, just not quite. So I still say it's quarter to 9. But when I read my digital time, because I'm still in 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock hasn't come yet. I'm still waiting for it to be 9 o'clock. So I'm still in the 8th hour of the day. And I've got 15 minutes left before I get to the ninth hour of the day. So I'm saying again, quarter to 9 even though there is an H here. Okay, next one. I've tried to confuse us a little bit here. Okay, I've got 16.30. Now, there was a previous video where I was explaining the 24-hour clocks to you, and this one's actually quite nice because if you look in the red here, it shows us the different um, numbers that show us the 24-hour time. But if, obviously, you know, not all clocks have this, if we are working with a normal clock and let's say for example it's now 12 o'clock I did say as soon as it hits 12 o'clock in the afternoon we start moving into the 13th hour the 14th hour all the way till the 23rd hour of the day and as that clock hits 12 o'clock at night it resets and it's on zero zero again so if I've got 16 and I'm still on 12 o'clock I'm going to count from the 12 and I'm going to go it's now 13 otherwise known as 1 o'clock 14 otherwise 2 o'clock 15 3 o'clock 16 4 o'clock and okay so now I'm on 4 o'clock which is 16 I'm in the 16th hour of the day and there's 30 minutes have passed by now we should know that 30 minutes is half of 60. So automatically when you see 30, you move that minute hand all the way to the 6. That we should know. And once that minute hand is on the 6, the hour hand should also be halfway between the 4 and the 5. So we need to recognize that as soon as we see a 30 on our digital clock, the first thing that we do is the minute hand goes onto the 6, and the second thing that happens is that the hour hand is in between what the time is now and what it is going to be in the next hour. So right now it's 4 o'clock and the next hour will be 5 o'clock. So that hour hand needs to go in the middle of the 4 and the 5. I hope that has helped guys.